everyone welcome to my channel today I'll be baking a bluefish that my dad caught when he went fishing I just wanted to share this video and the recipe with you because I do like um, cooking so I was like it's gonna be a fun video to share with you guys and also I hope you guys like the recipe so here I am starting off with the tomatoes. I am cutting them into cubes. It doesn't really matter how you cut them because they are going to be blended. Here's a ghost pepper. I'm going to add that. I'm adding parsley. I'm adding green chili pepper and tomatoes that I chopped. I'm blending them. Also adding some garlic because I love garlic and blending again. Oh my god, my mom, she is fighting with the fish for the past five minutes. So I had to get in to help her and she's taking out the guts first because I cannot touch that. I'm sorry. I love fish but I cannot eat fish. I mean I cannot touch fish. So over here I added my seasonings. I added Goya seasoning. I added um, red chili pepper, turmeric, salt and coriander powder and also two teaspoons of garlic and onion paste. Mix it well. Look at the teeth. Oh my god that looks so scary. So I fast forwarded this because me and my mom were, were, we were both struggling to cut the teeth off of that fish. It was super hard. I'm telling you, it's hard to like actually cut it with the with the um, scissors. But it was mission successful. Everything worked out. Also, trying to cut off the tongue. It took us some time, but we got through it. And here's me putting the fish on the tin foil plate, laying it flat before I season it. And as yes, you can see, how it look. It's very pretty. It's not blue, it's pink. And I'm adding the seasoning, of course. Make sure you mix it well. Put it under, put it inside the fish head and everything. I'm adding some cherry tomatoes. I'm adding some garlic for extra scent. It's totally up to you if you want to add it or not. It's And look at that. My mom, brown moms. Okay, so now I am preheating the oven to um, 350 degrees for 5 minutes. I'm also adding some more oil. Make sure your fish is moisturized. It cannot be dried up. And I am adding some chopped onions. I didn't chop it in, like into dice. I chopped it in um, rings as you can see. I like it like that. It's your preference how you want to put it. But that's how I like it. And I'm going to keep it that way. <laughs> Me being silly look at that cookie monster okay ready to put the fish inside the oven i usually put it on the bottom it's my personal preference i like it there so close the oven leave it for 45 minutes i had to leave it for longer because um, my family likes it more crispy so i was just checking over here after 35 minutes and then i left it for another 25 minutes now the finished look the final product i tried to take a proper video but i just feel like my hands were shaking i was too nervous sorry about that but i feel like it works right well that's it for today um thank you everyone for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel give it a thumbs up and comment thank you bye bye take care